Hello, my name is Findimus, and in this video we are going to be learning about declaring the doc type of an HTML document. If you want to follow along, the link is in the description down below. Let's begin. The challenges so far have covered specific HTML elements and their uses. However, there are a few elements that give overall structure to your page and should be included in every HTML document. At the top of your document, you need to tell the browser which version of HTML your page is using. HTML is an evolving language and is updated regularly. Most major browsers support the latest specification, which is HTML5. However, older web pages may use previous versions of the language. You tell the browser this information by adding the exclamation doc type tag on the first line, where the three dots part is the version of HTML. For HTML5, you use doc type HTML. And the exclamation and uppercase doc type is important, especially for older browsers. The HTML is not case sensitive. Next, the rest of your HTML code needs to be wrapped in HTML tags. The opening HTML goes directly below the doc type declaration line, and the closing HTML tag goes at the end of the page. Here's an example of the page structure html type then the html tags and all your code goes in the middle add a doc type tag for html5 to the top of the blank html document in the code editor under it add opening and closing html tags which wrap around an h1 element the heading can include any text so Line one, we're gonna do the doc type and it's gonna be HTML. Close that. Next pay uh, next line is HTML. And then we'll say code there, and then we'll do a closing HTML tag and then they want us to create an H1 element and we want it to just say anything but since I am me I'll say whatever Venomous YouTube and uh, oops, and then we will close it. H1. Let's see here. Your code should include a doc type HTML tag. There should be one HTML element. and the HTML tags should wrap around one H1 element. We'll run the test here. Yeah, tubular. So that is the challenge completed for this challenge. We have one more to go. Congratulations if you made it this far. So go over to the next video and that will be the end of this section for basic HTML and HTML5. And now we'll do the outro. Thank you for watching. If you feel this video was helpful or you liked it, then click the like button. If you want to see more content like this, then subscribe. And if you have any questions, post them down below in the comments. I am Finimus and I will see you later. Have a great day, everybody.